I know what y'all thinking. Oh, Goon, how can one combine that many genres on one album? Well, let's listen to her biggest hit. I know. Which is odd, because if that was a white girl that combined all these genres together, that song would have been like the most globalist of hits. I mean, if she was white, they would have definitely gave her a Grammy just for playing guitar, you know, like they did to Shawty. I ain't even gonna say her name. But needless to say, that was how her album was. It was innovative, it broke boundaries, and all of that. And what did she get in return? Her own label trying to pigeonhole her into an R&B diva girl and left her second album on the shelf before they dropped her. Now, if you want to hear my theory, I think the Crackers got mad that she did a way better cover of that song Blackbird than the Washed Ass Beatles. Once again, this is Dreadlock Poppy. No case because we're not with the Caucasity or the KKK. Deuces. <laughs>